Zerus speaks true. Burner commanded me to poison the maid. When Cerus and the Witcher descended into the cellars, you betrayed us. The clan that took you in. Good man. He's a servant to Oncrate, a lackey. He will say what they command him to say. He would lie for them even were he to pay for it with his head. Burner speaks true. Arnvald has served a care trolder ever since I remember. Doily, look a dog. Hmm. Well, I'm going to vouch. I can vouch for Ceres. She's telling the truth. You? Yet another uncreat lucky. Did Ceres entice you to cooperate? I can imagine how. Or has Crack paid you to smear my name? What did you say? Calm yourselves. After what I saw on Speaker Rock, I trust the Witcher. More than I do you. You've that right. But it's no proof of my guilt. Well, there's one other piece of evidence. Got one more piece of evidence. A letter from Berna to Arnvald, instructing him how to spike the meat. It lacks my signature. It lacks my seal. But perfume soaked through the parchment. A very strong scent, you know. Still to be sensed. <laughs> Is this your proof, lass? Is this what you call evidence of my supposed treason? Don't make me laugh. Burn is right, Cyrus. Tis all precious little proof of her wrongdoing. Alas, your brother Hjalmar also has not presented anything that could clear your family's name. Oh gosh. We've but one path left to us. Holger, Lugos, it's time we quit this damn castle. Come, we must decide what punishment Clan on Crate will face. Damn! Uh, you're making a big mistake. You're making a big mistake. Silence, Wanderer. Wait! Mother, you bade me to leave the hall before the feast. Why? Son, not now. <laughs> Why did you do it? How did you know? Hi! You stand silent. You gave Ceres no credence. Gave the Witcher no credence. But you must give credence to a son who accuses his own mother. The massacre was her doing. She shamed herself. Me. The family. The clan. Svanrika, I did it for you. Only for you. You admit to this deed. As the eldest of the Jarls, I cleanse the name of Clan on Creep, and you, Berna Bran, I sentence to death. You will be chained to a rock to perish of hunger and thirst, and sea fowl will peck apart your remains. Oh, damn. oh gosh. Oh, what a way to go. Oh, man. Hmm. Wow. Werner had a lust for power, I knew this, but so strong as to commit such a crime. What about Svanriga? What's his fate? He'll lose his home, his name, his honor. He'll choose exile or death. Mm. But enough. Whatever comes, we must endure. I thank you, Geralt. Again? No need. Again. I'll not take any more of this modesty. This is a land of heroes. Let this remind you of that. And now, I must ride for Gedinath, for the Jarl's council. Time to pick a king. What do you think? Who'll get the nod? Come with me. See for yourself. All may listen to our deliberations. Hmm. Gladly or might join you later. Well, if I say gladly, will we go there right this very moment? Um... So let's go with this. We'll have the option, I'm sure. Might join you later. Counting on it. As are my children. We'll definitely go. But I just kind of want to look around a little bit here. Quest completed. King's Gambit. New quest, Coronation. thought there was another quest that showed up that I didn't quite notice its name. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Coronation. 
Um, well, before I read that one, let's uh, look at the final um, text for um, the one we just did, which I, the name is not uh, coming to me right now. I'm, it's just amazing how quickly I forget, um, but hopefully I'll see it. Oh, King's Gambit, right. Uh, so this, was a, this one had a lot of text. Um, there we go. So this is where we left off. Their thorough investigation led Saris and Geralt to an unexpected discovery. It turned out Arnvald, the Onkrite family's hitherto faithful servant, had had a hand in the massacre. It was he who spiked the mead with the blood and herbs that caused certain guests to transform into pears. <laughs> I hate when that happens. It was he who then tried to kill Geralt and Saris in a most underhanded manner when they were close to finding him out. Arnvald tried to save his life by fleeing, but he did not get far, for Geralt, accustomed to chasing down griffins and wyverns, outrunning a clumsy and panicked rider proved no challenge. Saris interrogated him adroitly and got from him the identity of his patron. It turned out the culprit was none other than Berna, King Brand's widow and mother to one of the claimants to the throne, Svanrige. Berna was tried by a council of Jarls, though Geralt and Saris presented damning testimony against her, for a moment it seemed the sly widow would escape justice. In the end, the final nail in her coffin was pounded in by her own son, Svandrige, who sensed her lie at once when she denied the accusations. Berna was given the sentence she deserved, and disgrace covered the name of the once proud Twirsik family. Damn. Um, and speaking of which... We, um, let's see, we have Arnvald's text is, is, has been updated. Uh, let's see. Um, let's see. After Guthlof trusted Seneschal to the Oncrate Jarls passed away, a portion of his duties were taken over by the Jarls' cupbearer Arnvald. This elderly Skelliger did not possess the far-reaching authority of his predecessor, but still had managed to make himself irreplaceable in his few years in the position. His purview included not only stocking the larders and cellars of Caratrolda, but also seeing to the needs of the keep's inhabitants, as well as the guests that visited it during the feasts and other important ceremonies. That is why his betrayal could not have come as a greater surprise. When caught, Arnvald confessed to his role in the murderous conspiracy, revealing to his patron, as well as his long-seething hatred for Clan on Crate. Hmm. So what happens to him? I didn't hear the sentence for this guy. What's going to happen to him? Um, yes. So this was, this guy was like the real wise, wise old man. Few Jarls of Skellige were as honored and obeyed as Donar on Hindar, the eldest of their number. Despite his advanced age, he remained the active leader of his clan and its representative at all official gatherings. The only person able to break his composure was Madman Lugas, whose clan had long feuded with the on Hindars. Donar's home was, like Freya's temple on Hindersfjall. As befits a neighbor to the gods, Donar was famed for his wise, considered opinions and his piety. This last did not, however, extend to the gods of the continent, whose rich sanctuaries he had often raided in his youth. Okay. All right, coolness. Uh, the mad castaway of Unvik. Oh, okay, this was the guy that we talked to who was in the boat. Geralt's encounter with the crazed man building an enormous ship while conversing with the cut-off heads of his former crew was, to say the least, an unusual experience. Though this strange shipbuilder was forced into his labors by the ice giant and his bloodthirsty sirens, it seemed his work had become a kind of escape for his beleaguered mind. Surely that was why this unfortunate man showed such dedication to his dubiously worthy cause. In the end, Geralt learned the true identity of the mad shipbuilder of Unvik. He was in fact Harold Houndsnout, a Jarl who was thought to have been killed by the giant along with his crew. Though rumors about his death were clearly exaggerated, it was hard to say whether surviving had not proved the worst fate. News of the giant's death clearly delighted the madman, but he rejected the Witcher's offer to take him back to Ard Skellig. He could not live with the knowledge that he had failed as leader of his clan, and thus was determined to build a ship to serve as his funeral pyre. Wow. Okay. Uh, Viggy the Loon. Even for Skelligers who value courage above all else, Viggy's fearlessness went far beyond the pale of bravery, deep into the realm of suicidal madness, as we saw. 
This clan Tartarok warrior had strived to learn the right to be called Viggy the Unfearing. Instead, his actions earned him the nickname Viggy the Loon, and it seemed this outcome suited him just fine. It was Viggy who, craving glory and wanting to save his home isle from the ice giant, had convinced Hjalmar to brave the journey to Unvik. Many of their crew were killed during this expedition, and Viggy himself wound up a prisoner in the ice giant's cave. The second Geralt freed Viggy from this, his cage. The Skelliger lived up to his moniker and awoke the sleeping giant with a hearty kick. To be fair, afterwards he fought bravely and effectively against the monster, proving he had the makings of a mighty warrior behind his madness. Cool. All right. Back to our quests. We have this new quest, Coronation. At last the day had come. The long in interregnum? Gosh, I don't know that word either. The long whatever was at an end. The Jarls of Skellige had gathered to choose which of the claimants would be crowned King Bran's successor. Notable representatives from the clans and common Skelligers alike rubbed shoulders around the sacred oak on Hindersfjall eager to witness the coronation of their new ruler, among them, Geralt of Rivia. And I'm pretty sure, was it this one? Um, there was a new, another new quest that showed up right there at the end, but I don't know the name of it. I mean, I don't really remember this one, but um, I think this is a really, really old quest from way, way early in the game. Um, boy, I really thought that, um, yeah, I thought that another one showed up, but uh, I missed it. I have to see it when I watch my, watch my recording. All right. Okay. Um, so yeah, let's just kind of, uh, look around here a little bit and then maybe talk to some people, maybe learn something. Yes. Okay, we're not going to learn anything new from him. I wonder where Saris is. Like to check in on her. Oh, you drink last night too? Yeah. Where is Saris? Well, the ice giant killer. Yep, that's right. That's me. You look on well. <laughs> I look on well. Oh, there goes Croc. Let's walk up here. Venture seeker. Mm-hmm. Saris has got to be around here somewhere, right? You did Whoa. I did he was guilty of the massacre. Shame on Lady Bran. Shame. Shame on Lady Bran. It's awful quiet in here. Last night was... Girl. Elder. Yeah, I just want to walk around here and see if um, there's anybody that we could talk to. Freya Princess. I'm listening, Wanderer. Mm, not really saying anything. Guard. Bard. Fancy the ballad of Gundred Brustbeard or the Saga of the Frostmaiden. Aye. Skelliger, Guard. You people aren't making any sounds and those people are dancing to no music. Guards. Got one word. Bollocks. Okay. Well, that is a word. I can't a pipe club evening. Who knows? argue with that. Who knows? Servants. Can we go through these doors? Probably not anymore, right? No, we can. Huh. I wonder where Saris is. Uh, could you guys tell me where Saris' room is? Whose room is this? Hm, it's a nice room. I don't think I'm going to be stealing from it. We don't need that. Although there doesn't seem to be any consequences from doing such a thing. It was at the tavern the night blooded as a boat swing. We going Not by the, the first time there, I'm here in that. I smear your ass with honey yet here. What does that mean? <gasps> smear your ass with honey yet. Okay, we can't go through there. All right, so that's as far oh, as we could go this way. More people dancing to no music. Let's see another guard, another guard. These continental dandies come a strutting, then we gotta drag their corpses out of the inn. Okay, that leads out. Huh. 
I can't, um, find any of these people. Ooh, I don't think we've been up here. What's up here? More guards. Have supper, Nave. Fancy a fight, Trump? Or you don't make me answer angry. to me. Don't talk all at once, guys. What's this place? This is kind of neat that we could just kind of walk around in here. <laughs> okay, somebody else's room. This is nice. Nice place. I like it. Yeah. All right, I'm curious to see what's in here. Ah, oh, racing saddle. I'm not going to take it. I just wanted to see. You know, I just wanted to kind of rummage through their stuff. That's all. Okay. Another room here. Boy, where is everybody? Uh, okay. I'm just looking. Nothing I'm interested in. Some books, probably. Yeah. Hmm. I guess I don't get to talk to anybody. Watch your step. All right. Fancy a pipe? Come in. You cluttered about. Um, now where do we go? Whoa. So these are the steps that um, Croc took. He walked up these steps. So he went this way s somewhere. Oh. Uh, here is a, um, a smith. No, this is a guard. Smith in here, maybe? Whoa, where's this go? What's this place? Guard, servant, guard. Servant. Oh. This is kind of neat. <laughs> this place is huge. Look at this. Oh, who's this sleeping over here? Servant, servant. This is, I don't know, I'm just finding this really, really cool that this place is so big. <clears throat> and there's such a large part of it that we really didn't, I mean, we just kind of like just walked through it, you know? I mean, it was just here as scenery as we walked through. I think this is the cellar, right? Oh, we can't go in there. No, no, that wasn't the cellar. This is the cellar down here. Right? Yeah. This is really cool. Ah, <laughs> uh, we can't go in there. Okay. Alright. We probably could loot all this stuff, but again, I'm all maxed out on inventory. So, I'm not going to be looting stuff, and I don't know. May your ox never crumble. We don't really need anything anyway. But I was really kind of hoping to find Saris, just to see where she hangs out, you know. Okay, we already been in there. Ooh, I'm stuck on the door. <laughs> Got me eye on you. So where is this um oh it's not a it's just um a place where we can enhance our weapons and uh enhance our uh armor. There's no smith here. Alright, whatever. Enhanced weapons, enhanced armor. Okay, well... Yeah, I don't know where, um, where everybody is, but, um, that's fine. It's break time anyway. So, that was, that was an interesting turn of events there. Uh, I'm real curious to see who they end up crowning as king. So, uh, we, we might just jump right into that quest next time. Uh, this, uh, coronation one. And, uh, just kind of finish up. Uh, our business here in uh, Novigrad. So, um, yeah, we might do that. Uh, I may uh, go take care of inventory off camera so that uh, I can uh, walk around unencumbered and uh, get back to looting stuff. So, anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, won't you be so kind as to leave me a like? And if you're not a subscriber, won't you please consider subscribing? Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you'll join me again in the next episode.